Hello, 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 welcome, welcome back again. And this is going to be a little bit different because where I usually talk about a book, a movie, or like a series, this is also a series, but it's an animated series. And it goes by the name of Banished from Heroes Park. Now, it's a fantastic series, in my opinion. And season two is out, so I've been watching it. It's also falls in line and it and I'll and I'll touch I'll touch on it in just a bit. But for anybody who might not be familiar, I should start from the beginning. What is this series about? And so in this series we are focused on this character called well, he goes by the name of Red, right? And the reason is that he is at the far, far end of the map where nothing happens, there's no wars, there's no kind of reason for this place to be on the map in the first place because it's just on its own. It's isolated from anything else that is happening in the world. And which is the perfect place for this character. He's trying to step away from everything else. And this place is called Soltan. Soltan. And Red is a little bit unique. But to explain how unique he is, I do have to talk about this kind of like the world this is set in. And in this world, uh, every living thing has what is called a blessing. Some sort of a special ability or role that is given to them supposedly by a higher 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 authority a higher power and these blessings can be manifested as in let's say the blessing of an assassin the blessing of a warrior blessing of a hero blessing of uh of a, a holy knight you know, so on and so forth. You, you got the main picture. And it can be given. And the blessing can be any blessing. Can be given to anybody at any time. Well, not any time. But it doesn't matter if you're rich. You're the most elite of the nobles. Or if you're the most common. The most common of the commoners. The bottom of the poverty. You still get. A blessing and it can be anything i mean you can have somebody in the worst of poverty having the blessing of let's say of a priest of a holy priest and they'll have their uh, special place in society or you can have a noble that has a blessing of a thief so you know, not something desirable but you got the picture and the way that they develop their blessings and become you know stronger and have like more skills is by killing other living things with a blessing that is at their level or at a higher level so that means that in this world pretty much any anybody who has a blessing has to go out and either kill other people or kill animals because animals can also have also have blessings but they have to kill kill in order to further enhance and further develop their own blessing and their skill set. So that's how that works on that part. The unique thing about Red is that he has the blessing of the guide. Now, what the blessing of the guide means is that for the hero, and there's only one hero that, you know, one person that has the blessing of a hero. And, you know, in order to, for there to be another person that has that same blessing, uh, basically the hero, the current hero has to die for a new hero to be born. Now, the hero itself, the hero, they basically don't have any weaknesses. So they don't need to eat, drink. They don't feel cold. They don't feel pain. No, they don't get tired. Their main purpose is to fight against the demons and the demon lord so basically you know what you expect a hero to do but that also means that they are left with no other feeling 
other than, well, duty. And Red's duty is, as the guide, is to lead the hero in the right path until they are strong enough to be not on their own necessarily because they do trouble as a party, but strong enough so that they can go on their own and do what needs to be done or what is suspected from them. And so in this case, Red's, well, Red is the guy to a hero who happens to be his sister. And so from when she was little, he helped her kind of like develop her blessing, get stronger and stronger and stronger until she's now this super hero of a being, you know, that fights against monsters and all that. But, you know, here, the guide, one of the things about being the guide is that your blessing will only develop up to, like, the basic level of all skills, like cooking and tracking and uh, combat and all, all of that. It will only grow so much because they're supposed to be great at everything to help the hero out. And then that's it. So he's now going to be a master at a single thing, which leads him to be kind of feeling, you know, like he's holding the, the heroes group a little bit back when fighting against stronger monsters or stronger demons. Like he feels like he's pulling them back. And one of the reasons he kind of leaves is that he wants to now now that he knows that his sister will be fine with the group that she has, he'll kind of do go on his own and live his own life, live the quiet life, which is why he shows Sultan. And that's where the story kind of begins because as he is staying there and his new mission is to have an apothecary and sell herbs and medicines and all and all of that, well, he obviously has to kind of work towards that dream. So he does adventures he's an adventurer and people can recognize that oh he's doing like all the basic things but his ambition ambitions are not to be like oh like a, a high-ranking adventurer he just wants to you know do, do what he needs to do enough to live his life but also to kind of further his dream of the apothecary and he does a great job i mean people look up to him uh People recognize that even though he is not like a master at a single thing, he is actually proficient at everything. And not just good, like he's really good at everything. And so this leads to kind of tensions where the champion, which is another blessing, but somebody who has the bl the champion's blessing, kind of gets frustrated with him and tries to like pick fights and go, hey, join us, you can do more. But he doesn't want to. He still does his thing. He still wants that quiet life. He keeps on saying he wants to live the quiet and peaceful life. And well, part of the quiet and peaceful life comes in the form of Rito. Now, Rito, he, she is someone who he has met before. And the reason that she's there is that she has been looking for Red. She kind of has her that he no longer worked for the hero's party or the hero's group. So she has been looking for him and trying to get back in touch. She is the princess of a kingdom and he helped them out uh, a long time ago, along with the hero and the party uh, as they were faced as that kingdom was facing a demon army and you know, they do their thing. They are successful. And she kept on thinking to herself, you know, they kind of grew more familiar with each other, both Red and Rito. And at that time, she felt like, you know, she's would want to meet back with him, meet up with him once she is strong enough to kind of be on equal terms. Because again, and it's going to be like a constant theme, Red is appreciated and he's looked up to not because of the skills and his blessing that he has. It's more of how he uses his skills and what he can do. Everything that he accomplishes 
even if he's not a master at any single skill or any single thing, he is still more like he can accomplish what is seemingly the impossible and do great things. And kind of an example is that is that a neighbor of his was sick and there was a an herb that he needed for a potion, but it could only be found in the mountains, like at a very desolate place. The problem was that the champion and his party had gone and were burning the forest, hunting this this monster. But where it was burning, that's where that herb was. So he had to, from the village, being undetected, go out, get into the woods, reach that herb, collect the herbs, come back. And all not dying by the fire or being caught by anyone else because it was forbidden for anybody to be in the forest during that time. But he did it. And his neighbor was saved. The kid was saved. And, well, that's kind of like what Red does. He accomplishes a lot of things. And, well, it really does lead to, well, he's living the peaceful life. Rito stays with him. She helps out with the apothecary. They grow more attached and they finally feel it's okay to have a relationship. So, you know, they find out that they're in love with each other. And it's all great. They're in the peaceful life, a quiet life, with somebody they love. It Anybody would love, want that, right? I mean, I don't imagine anybody who would say, oh, I wouldn't want that. But um, that's when we find out that Red's sister, she kind of the hero, she doesn't want to be the hero anymore because she really wants to go back to her brother, but she feels the strong sense of duty that she needs to be fighting the demons and monsters. So she manages to leave along with her friend who has the blessing of assassin. And I will kind of note that even if somebody has the blessing of assassin or thief or something negative like that, it's not so much that they need to kill. I mean, they do feel these impulses, but it's more of with their blessings, they will also have skills related to those blessings. So, for example, the skills of an assassin, of being quiet and being observant, like obviously those are skills that will come along with the blessing. And so it's not just that they are going to be killing people. It just means that, you know, they have that ability, but they also have skills that they can use elsewhere. And that kind of leads to my next point. The next point that I love about the series. And it's kind of like that overall message. You see, when his sister comes back home and then she has her own arc about stop being the hero and then she needs to, you know, do whatever she can to resist the urge of going back and fighting with the demons there is a point where everybody believes that a blessing forces you to become something that you don't necessarily want to be but something that red does a very good thing well he does this very he does this very well and that is insist that yes you have a blessing but the blessing doesn't define who you are. It's what you do with your blessing. And one example that he does is that when the shadow that he saved by bringing the herb, he has the blessing of a, a weapon, weapons master. But he doesn't want to fight in an army or anything else. He wants to work alongside his dad and help him out over at the at the seaport well rito then exp tells him well your blessing is to become a, a weapons master but you don't necessarily have to be a soldier you can easily uh, choose to choose a knife as your weapon and you'll be a master of a knife which means that you can help out with you know cutting the ropes and helping out and it will and it's a useful tool for when you're working at the seaport. So even though you're a weapons master, it's not that that is who you are. 
but it's part of who you are. It's part of it, but you choose what to do with the skills that you have with your blessing. And the same goes with his sister. I mean, even though she's the hero, she can choose what to do with her skills and she doesn't necessarily have to do the hero stuff just because she's obligated to, because she doesn't have to, that's doesn't define who she is. And she does manage to kind of, because the hero's blessing is a little bit unique, they do go into this whole plot point where in the end, she's able to suppress her urges, but also she develops like a second blessing, which allows her to suppress the urges of the blessing or the hero's blessing and has now the ability to have control over her own life and no longer need to you know go out and kill demons and monsters like now she has control over her own life she can finally sleep she can finally enjoy food she can finally be with her brother and live as a family and that's spectacular because it's really much the same thing that you could expect in real life where just everybody wants to reach that point in which they leave they live a satisfying and peaceful life not necessarily quiet but a satisfying and peaceful life with the people they love surrounded by friends and family the also second point which again is you might have skills in something, but that doesn't mean that's who you are. Case in point, maybe you like reading, right? But it's not that, oh, your only personality trait and your only identifier is you're a reader. So no, not because you like reading, that doesn't just make you a reader. Or maybe you like doing sports or you're the athlete you can only do sports well no i mean not necessarily because if you have a good physique maybe you can do more physical labor you know like um, for example being a firefighter being a paramedic where you have to use a lot of force to be moving around patients um Again, going to the same point that maybe you are more sedentary and you like reading more. So, oh, you're just a reader. Well, no, I mean, maybe you like reading, but that also means that maybe you're good at analyzing and collecting data. So you could also use those skills for, let's say, doing research or I don't, I don't know, doing research or working at an agency where they have to make reports or analysis. It's very much like we all have talents. It doesn't mean that that's what defines us, but we can choose what to do with our talents, what we can do with our own skills that we have, but we get to choose what to do with them. It doesn't mean that we have to be a doctor or we have to be a lawyer or we have to do this, or we have to do that. There is a flexibility where we sometimes get, take it for granted, like, oh, he's great at math. He's going to be a mathematician. Or you know what? Oh, she's great at running. Ah, she's going to be a track and field star. Well, no, I mean, that's not it. It's similar to what is in the series. I mean, they have their blessings, but not because they have a blessing of a bar fighter. That means that they're just going to be a colonel that's going to be causing problems well no that's not it that's not it and that's what i kind of like about the series it's the best of what we could hope for but it's also a reminder that we are we can choose and we have a and we have that decision in our lives of what to do whether we find out what we want to do that's a different thing that's a different question altogether but that is the point that is the point. Anyways, I might have rumbled on too much, or maybe I said too little about the series for you to be interested, but what do you think overall? Um, are you interested in watching the series? Which one is season two? Well, watch season two, which I can also talk about on a separate video. What do you think about what I'm talking about? 
about wanting that satisfying and peaceful life or about having that control over your own destiny, what you do with your own life. I mean, it could make for interesting conversations. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and that's it. Just remember, and I always say this, remember, be kind to those around you. You'll never know what they're going through. See you soon.